Hello and welcome to Let's Play Retro Games. I'm going to start part two here by looking at something really special. This is something that I was after for a long time. And it took me a while to finally build up the courage to actually spend that much to buy it. Here it is, the Famicom Edition Game Boy Micro. So you can see it was in amazing condition, almost brand new. You can see that it's got Mario and Bowser there. And here's the actual system itself, it's so nice. So compact and shiny. I did used to have a Game Boy Micro but it broke so I'm really really happy to get this one. And you can see there it says uh, Super Mario 20th Anniversary on it. And the Game Boy Micro is such a fantastic machine. Just look at the screen quality on that. So I, I actually did uh, play this on the plane on the way home, playing one of the games that I picked up so let's take a look at what Game Boy Advance games I got while I was out there. I got a fair few GBA games and they're all fully boxed complete with the instruction manuals in perfect condition. To start with a game that I haven't actually played yet, but one that I was super excited to find. This is Drill Dozer, or the Japanese name for it is Screwbreaker. Made by Game Freak, actually, surprisingly, it's not a Pokemon game. They made this game for the Game Boy Advance, I think, when they were taking a break from Pokemon before the DS games came out. It looks really nice, I haven't actually given it a go yet, but I will do and put some footage in the video to show you guys. But very, very excited to get this. And... You can see there that the cartridge is bigger than normal because it has a rumble pack, so you can actually feel like you're using the drill while you play. Next up are two other games for the Game Boy Advance. This is Rockman Zero and Rockman Zero 2. I've got the DS collection of the Mega Man Zero games, but I haven't actually got them on the GBA, so I was quite excited to pick these two up. There you go, they both seem really fun. I played a bit of each of them, the graphics are lovely. They play kind of like the Mega Man X games, with a little bit more story, which is kind of hard because they're in Japanese, but the graphics are really nice, the gameplay is brilliant. Very excited to get both of these. A game I picked up mainly for the soundtrack, this is a game that I love on the SNES. Donkey Kong Country 3, or as uh, Japan calls it, Super Donkey Kong 3. And the reason I got this one is because the soundtrack is recomposed by David Wise. He didn't actually do the soundtrack for the SNES game, he just did the first two Donkey Kong Country games. So it's really cool to play through this and listen to a David Wise original soundtrack. So cool. A game that I picked up super cheap from Hard Off, if you saw my Hard Off video you probably saw me put this in the basket which everyone seems to love. This is Super Mario Ball, a Mario game I'd never played before. It's actually just a pinball game but the graphics are really really nice, they're kind of 3D isometric. Really really uh, fun game, it's very basic but the physics, they got the physics right and that's the main thing about a pinball game for me. So I really enjoyed this, surprisingly. Two more games, I'm going to save the best till last, so I'll show you this one first. Because I know a two for the Game Boy Advance. I've got the first one, the European edition, but I didn't actually get the second one ever, so I was really excited to pick this one up. I've played it quite a lot actually on the Game Boy Micro, and it's so much fun. I love the Klonoa games, they're so, they're so clever with all the puzzles that you, that you uh, have to go through. The graphics are really, really nice too, so very, very happy to get this one. <laughs> I know I've said this about every game, but this is another game that I was super excited to find. Really can't believe I got this one. I've been looking for it forever and it's far too expensive on eBay. It never came out here in the UK, or in fact outside of Japan at all. F-Zero Climax, the final game in the F-Zero series. Amazing game, it's actually such a shame that this never came out. It's probably the best one on the GBA. It's got a Grand Prix mode. It's got a level editor that the other games don't have, which is amazing. You can make your own tracks, kind of like the expansion pack for the 64DD, which I will get one day and make a video about it, just wait. But yeah, really, really happy about this. It was even better than I imagined. So cool. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Fire. 
still left. Hang in there. Oh, there was one more that I forgot. This is actually one of the Bit Generations games. I was really happy to find this. I've been looking for quite a few of these Bit Generation games, but they were kind of expensive, so I only picked one of them up. This one's called Boundish. They're kind of like little artsy games. Um, not really fun games. This one's kind of a weird take on Pong with a few other variants of it as well. But it's really nice. It comes in a lovely packaging too. And now we'll move on to a few other handheld games on the Game Boy Advance. Let's start with two games for the original Game Boy, or one for the Game Boy and one for the Game Boy Color actually. This is Parodius, the Game Boy version. I love this game on the SNES and the Sega Saturn, so I just had to pick it up on a different system just to see what the difference was really. And I'm very impressed with what they managed to do with the original Game Boy. Parodius is one of my favourite shoot 'em up series, so I'm very happy. Although it's a shame it's in black and white because Parodius is such a colourful game. And the other one I picked up is one of the Atelier games. I'm sure you know if you've watched my channel before, I love the Atelier games. Um, this one's Atelier Ellie for the Game Boy Color. Hopefully there's a fan translation out there somewhere. I haven't actually looked yet, but I'm very excited to give this one a try. Because I love those games. I was planning on picking up a few Vita games, but I actually only got one in the end. This is DJ Max Technica Tune. Really, really fun rhythm game for the PlayStation Vita. And that's one of the one of the kinds of games that this system really excels at. I love the songs in this game. I think it's Korean. They don't seem to be Japanese, but either way, really, really fun. It's kind of awkward to get used to at first because you have to use the touch screen a lot. But once you get into it, uh, put some headphones on, sit down and really enjoy this. It's great. And a game for a system that I haven't actually played in a while, the Virtual Boy. This is Galactic Pinball. Brand new, I might add. It's still in its original wrapping. Haven't played it yet, obviously. It's still sealed. But uh, I am looking forward to it. And I did see a stand for the Virtual Boy, which I really need to get because mine's broken, unfortunately. And I really kind of wish I picked it up, but I didn't. So I'll have to uh, balance the Virtual Boy somewhere and give this a shot at some point. So thanks for watching part 2, stay tuned for part 3 coming very soon because I've got some more really exciting things to show you, including this awesome console, the Retro Freak, so look forward to that video. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to Let's Play Retro Games, goodbye.